Hey, this is Judge White's bringing you the weekly nightfall mission. This is where we're taking on Fogoth in the summoning pits. I've got an easy, cheesy way to take him out. You're not going to have any problems. The hardest part about this mission, though, is this area right here. This is where the runes are getting decoded, and we're going to have to face off against some knights and some wizards. And those wizards, oh man, they are tough. But first thing you want to do is clear out all the little guys. Then after you clear out all the little guys, you're going to be stuck with these knights. As you can see, they have some arc shielding going on. So you want to make sure that you bring some arc weapons with you. And I would really recommend a fusion rifle. They seem to work really well against these knights. Now, a sniper rifle would probably work just as well, but I'm liking the fusion rifle a lot more. Now, not only is the arc damage good against these arc shielding in this nightfall, the arc damage also gets a buff in this mission. Every nightfall mission comes with one elemental damage that gets a buff and it's just going to do more damage. And that's what's going to really help you get through this nightfall mission. So definitely bring some arc damage. I found out that a fusion rifle worked really well. And then I also liked running a machine gun with arc damage. Now you can see right now though, I've got the rocket launcher equipped, but I actually ran through this three times and I found out those two things worked really well for me. Now, with saying that though, all right, you're gonna find that the uh, wizards in here actually come with the solar shielding as they normally do. So you wanna make sure that somebody in your group has something like the icebreaker, which is a sniper rifle that does solar damage, or that primary scout rifle that does solar damage. And I actually tried both of those in this nightfall at different times and they worked out really well. So you just wanna coordinate that though. Make sure you have somebody doing that solar damage and then as soon as they pop the shield then you can come in and kind of finish them off with the arc damage the other thing that i found that worked really well is actually throwing a grenade this warlock actually comes with two grenades the build the sunsinger build that i have so it comes with two grenades that actually stick and you're going to see me get some stickies on these wizards where i followed up with uh, this fusion rifle and do some serious damage so that really worked out well for me from last night but basically the strategy in this room i already told you you know take out all the little guys then as soon as you take out all the little guys, you want to kind of focus on these bigger ones, these knights and these wizards, trying to not engage them all at once. You want to engage one or two at a time. And then when it gets hairy, you want to actually retreat out of this room. And I'll show you when we start taking on the four wizards what we actually do. In fact, I think I get nailed by this wizard right here. Yeah. All right. So as you can see, they hit pretty darn hard. When that happens, when you get in trouble, you want to get over into this area. There's no reason to go around in the center of that map. In fact, I was probably a little bit too far into that map. You really want to stay over in this area and try to engage as little of these characters as possible. You know, just take out bite-sized amounts, take them out, and then retreat back to this area. And like I said, I'm going to show you when the wizards actually come out, what we do, because we're going to head down this hallway towards the top and just try to engage them from that area. Now, as you can see, um, this has skipped ahead a little bit. Now we're starting to see the wizards. As soon as I see them, you know, we are out of here. We're running like little kids. Creamy's up there. I think he's got the solar powered icebreaker going on. He's gonna try and drop their shields and then we're gonna try and finish them off with our heavies. I'd really recommend a heavy light machine gun with arc damage. I actually ran this mission three times and tried all three different types of weapons. And my rocket launcher was probably the least favorite. My light machine gun was probably my favorite just because there's a lot of times that you shoot that rocket and they move and you end up wasting the ammo. And at least with the light machine gun, you can kind of correct yourself and get those done. Now, an arc damage sniper rifle would probably work as well. I did use that. And it's nice because you kind of get them funneled into this area and you can kind of pick them off. Try to communicate, you know, which one you're going after. Hey, I'm doing the left one. When there's all four out here, though, it just gets very crazy. And they put a lot of firepower down in here. So don't move any closer. I'm probably a little too close right here. Uh, so make sure you stay back and you can get, get out of the way. But being back here is going to allow you or allow your teammates to actually pick somebody up should they go go down. Now let's fast forward because we're down to like one or two wizards. When you get down to one or two, you can start moving in here. And like I said, I really like using the sticky grenade. If you can stick them, that's going to drop their shield. And then you can follow that up with that fusion rifle blast or something else. But let's move on to Fogoth. All right. This is an easy thing to do. You're going to easily beat him. I mean, I did the weekly mission and the weekly mission compared to the nightfall mission is a lot harder for taking off Fogoth. All right. So first thing you want to do is try to get Fogoth 
Ugoth released. Now we're not even worrying about killing all the little guys or anything like that. So we came in here, shot at him. Now this is the room that you want to stay in primarily. Two people are going to stay back here and then one person's going to run up there and shoot. Now the next room directly in front of me, if you stay in that room too long, there's going to be a shrieker that appears on the ceiling and he'll shoot you and it's just not good. So have two people stay in this room, especially if somebody dies, you know, you're going to have two people back here that can pick you up. And then one person's going to run forward, as you see me do right here, and shoot at Fogoth. Now, if you're using a rocket launcher, I'd recommend only putting in two rockets and then running actually back. I think I did three, and I think the Shrieker started to appear or was getting close. So only do two rounds and then get back in here. Now, when that Shrieker appears, just leave it alone. If you kill it, if you destroy it, it explodes and sends these little things out here and it's just not good. Now, here I am using a light machine gun. Like I said, I like the light machine gun a lot better than the rocket launcher for that reason right there. One time I was running the rocket launcher, I came out to that doorway, shot a rocket at Fogoth, and this thrall jumped in the way of it, hit it, and actually knocked me down. With the light machine gun, you can just actually shoot through those little guys, shoot through those minions into Fogoth, and you're not going to put yourself down. But whatever kind of arc damage you have you know you can make it work here I'm using a fusion rifle at a distance so like I said though just have two people in that back room send one person at a time you can kind of rotate through your people make sure whoever you're sending out there though is using the arc damage because that's going to do the max damage on him and knock him down use your ammo cakes and do whatever else now this is another good technique if you have this bubble thing you can actually put this up here and actually get a little bit of protection from that shrieker i wouldn't really use it in that respect the good thing about this bubble thing though is when there gets knights coming in here or wizards coming in here it gives you a place to retreat to also too you know this bubble has some nice side effects like there's one thing where if you go into this bubble when you come out of it you get increased damage I, I forget what it's called freak was telling me about it though so set that bubble up here come out here shoot this guy you're gonna have the additional arc damage plus that additional damage from that bubble thing going on and you're gonna just melt this guy super fast though but like I said this whole nightfall should take you about 30 minutes it's really easy I, I shouldn't say it's really easy all right it's not really easy but hopefully these tips will help make it easier and you can get it done but let me know if you've done it let me know how long you took it if you have any better spots a lot of times people will say oh that's a crappy spot or something like that if you've got a better spot or a better technique leave it in the description so that other people can see it and I can see it and I'll give you credit for it if I I do another video on it but like i said hope this helps you out if it does i would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up but guys as always take care and god bless